Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, back here with the Behemoth, which is the HC6 from Cross RC. This is a massive 112 scale 6x6 off-road military truck. One of my second favorite military trucks. They call them the Deuce or the uh, five ton trucks and I really love these type of trucks. They're just super awesome. Now I had some time to work on the cross to do a few things that I wanted to do in the initial build of the truck but I didn't do these things because uh, I really wanted to get the truck done, test it out, do a few videos and then go down the road and install the stuff that I initially wanted to do to the truck when I was building it. So I did three new things to the truck. I did the canvas tent the sound unit and a upgrader on the motor. So I want to talk about each one of these of what I did. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it and show you what I did. All right. Okay, so the first thing that I did was the canvas top here on the back of the bed. This is something that's sold separate with the truck. It doesn't come with it. You have to buy it through the Cross RC website. You can actually get it through Amazon and eBay, but those two was going to take like a month for it to come in and so I decided to go ahead and order it off Cross RC. Now it's really cool, the canvas tent comes with the canvas tent 4 uh, post that goes along across the bed. It also comes with the string and a little bar that goes into the back of the flap here to keep the flap from moving around and stuff like that. Now it looks really awesome and I first at at first I was like I really don't want the canvas tent part because it takes away from your bed and showing off any scale items that you have in the back of it but I put it on there and I really do like it now I actually changed up the color of the canvas tent because when I got it it came in that desert sand color which is that tan color and I was like that's not gonna go well with my theme here on the truck which is the gray and black and so I actually took it and dyed it a flat black and uh, it looks really great I also uh, left it where it has some of the tan in there so it kind of looks like the uh, it's been dirty and it's been around for a while so I really like that now uh, it also comes with a string to uh, tie it to the to the bed here and I actually done away with that string because it's like this silverish bluish kind of string and I was like that's gonna be another thing that's gonna throw it off the theme so I got some plastic nylon string from Hobby Lobby there and did it on the truck and it looks great it matches with the wheels <clears throat> my wheels and uh, all the black accessories here uh, turn it back here to the back so you guys can see the flat back here so you got that <clears throat> and you can actually roll this up and tie it up as well so you can show off the back if you want I kinda just like leave it like that because it just looks better uh, I wanna say and of course my little chain is all over the place the behemoth <laughs> why I call the truck the behemoth is because behemoth <clears throat> means massive huge creature and this thing is massive it is big and it's heavy <laughs> okay so the second thing that I did to the truck is that I installed my light and sound unit onto the truck now I went with a uh, I went with the uh, light sound, uh, sound system from GT power uh, so this is their light and sound system and it's really awesome uh, sound unit it comes with the uh, Control module, a speaker, comes with all the LED lights to uh, have a fully function light kit, having headlights, markers, turn singles, bright lights, reverse lights, all that stuff. And uh, so it's really awesome that they send all that stuff with it. Also, <clears throat> this sound unit has 58 different engine sounds, ranging from gasoline, diesel, uh, tuna cars, muscle cars, exotic cars, uh, crawling motor sounds semi truck sounds uh, so there's a lot of uh, options in here and plus it's also a programmable sound unit meaning you can go into your computer and you can actually adjust the sounds of, uh, of the engine so you can actually adjust when you want the gears to shift when you want the turbo to blow off uh, the horn bunch of other stuff it is a really awesome system uh, so I would recommend getting this it was like only forty three dollars for this kit so uh, that was really nice and I really like it and I'll actually give you guys a little demonstration of it and I'll turn my controller on reach over here and turn on the con truck if I can get to it <laughs> all right there it goes now 
To activate the sound unit, you have to push the throttle on your controller. So I got this really cool like diesel coming sound with the truck in it. Sounds really great, my friends. Trying to be careful because I only got like this much space to work with when driving the truck. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Only got enough space here, and I'm afraid to for the truck to fall. Now, I also got this thing on an idling uh, control. So after 10 seconds, it will shut off. So you're gonna hear it right now, it should be. There you go. So close call there, right? Like I told you, I only have like maybe four foot of space to work with here. So yeah, I don't want it to come off. And, uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's one thing. I just didn't want to fall off, so I didn't. That was not planned to happen in the video. The stuff just just happens to me. Uh, I think actually I need to adjust my two speed because it's not uh, engaging right. So I need to work on that. So that's one thing I need to do after I do this video is work on this thing and get the uh, two speed back in the loop there. But uh, yeah. Now the third thing that I did to the behemoth is that I did a little bit of a performance modification to this truck. I took out the stock 45 turn uh, brush motor which is from Cross RC and I put in an RC 4 drive 55 turn brush motor in the truck which helped this truck out a lot. Uh, by putting that 55 in there, as you know 55s are very torquey motors. They produce a lot of low end torque and this truck definitely needs that low end torque because of how heavy this truck really is and stuff. So that 55 really helped it out. It made it run a lot smoother and better than the 45. The 45 made it kind of jumpy a little bit and stuff like that. So the 55 was the way to go on the truck and with the two speed definitely works out. It's the same one I have in the Trail Finder is a 55 turn motor and it just it does an awesome job. It's a great motor and uh, definitely helped out the truck a lot. So that's a little bit of performance modification for the truck because there's not many performance modifications for it. So I'm glad that I, I just put that in there. So I'm really, really digging it. Now the only thing I have noticed with it is that I have a little bit of delay in the throttling and in the reversing of the vehicle. That's because of, you know, it's a 55 turn motor, so it's turning a lot slower, plus also the two speed transmission with all the gears in there, and then the transfer case, and then delivers out. So that's a lot of gears to go through for the vehicle to move. So, but you know what? I like it because that's kind of how an actual uh, Deuce or 6x6 six six military trucks kind of actually drive. They have a little bit of delay when they're backing up and going forward and stuff like that. So it kind of matches the vehicle perfectly. So I'm not going to change that up, you know, or, or do anything with that. But I will work on the two-speed because that's what was happening where it wasn't moving. It's because it disengaged itself. So I had to kind of give it a little bump to get it to uh, engage itself. So that's the only problems with the two-speed sometimes. Sometimes they'll engage and sometimes they'll you know, won't engage or they disengage out of gear. It's a common thing that happens with two speeds. But you know what? I love the two speed. I will never give it up. So, yeah. 
So I will show you guys the 55 turn motor, but you know it is you know an RC4 drive 55 turn motor, and I don't want to pull the bumper off and pull the top of the cage off here or the or the uh, <laughs> the cab of the truck to show the motor. It's just a simple you know 55 turn brush motor. So yeah. All right, my friends. So I uh, hope y'all y'all like this video. If you did, click that like button. If you don't like the video, well, eh, oh well. <laughs> But uh, if you guys got any questions about anything, maybe on the sound unit here, uh, definitely comment down below or anything about the truck as well. Comment down below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, any of your questions, actually. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I will try to find you the answer. So, all right. Yeah. All right, my friends. So thank you for watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for taking time to watch the video and come to the channel and all. I really do appreciate it. Well, my friends, thank you for watching again, and I will see you guys later.